In this video, you will learn how to export a Synchro file to an FBX file to be used in 3D Studio Max to create a more advanced rendering. Before you export, link all of your objects to the tasks so that the construction sequence is visible as you would like it as you move your focus time through the project. You do not need to have an animation created in the animation editor in Synchro because the export to FBX simply exports the sequence without saving any camera angles or keyframes. It simply shows the progression of the project over time using the links between your model objects and your tasks. To begin, select File, Export, 3D. Select Browse, and then pick a location and name your file. These are the different types of 3D files that you can export. You can export a static 3D file that you could open then in a viewer or a modeler, such as a DWF or a PDF file. What we're going to do is export an FBX file to use for rendering the animation. Hit save. In the export mode, you want to make sure to click export animation. The other two options will export static files using the original positions as they were imported into Synchro or with the current focus time as you can see it now, but it would still be a static 3D model. To export the construction sequence following the tasks, you need to click Export Animation. You then can pick the dates to use for the animation. We will use the best dates, which combines the planned and the actual, where the actuals have been updated. You also have the options to use just the actual or just the planned. You could use the proposed dates, or the original will show you just, again, a 3D static file. And the baseline is if you had saved any baselines in Synchro, you could export using those dates rather than the current planned dates. So we'll go with best. You can apply the 3D view filters or the global 3D filter, which will show you it as it's viewed right now in Synchro. On the next screen, you have the animation options. Because you're not exporting a saved animation in Synchro, you're simply exporting the entire construction sequence. You can choose the duration. If you choose 10 seconds, the entire project will happen in 10 seconds, or we'll set it to 30 seconds, and that will export the entire project spread out to be viewed in 30 seconds. Your output options are either integrate into 3D file or write an XML file. Currently, integrate into 3D file is only available for FBX. Any other 3D file that you export, you could export the animation as an additional XML file, which would then have to be linked together with the 3D file to create this construction sequence. So for FBX, we'll choose integrate into 3D file and hit export. The export may take a while to run. When the export is finished, you will see this notification at the bottom of the screen. The export is finished successfully. We can then import the FBX file into 3D Studio Max. So open 3D Studio Max, go to File, Import, and we'll import a non-native file format. Locate your file and hit open. Make sure the current preset is Auto Desk Media and Entertainment, and that will make sure that the animation is automatically enabled. Then hit OK. The animation may take a minute to import. When the FBX has finished importing, you will see these four windows here. Any object that has not yet been installed will be visible in wireframe, and this is completely normal. To set up your 
view settings, go to views, viewport configurations. In the layout tab, you can choose how you want your view to be set. We'll click one window and a perspective view and then hit OK. To check our animation, we can move this bar here and that'll jump forward in time. And this only goes to 100 frames. This works like the focus time in Synchro, but it's set up by number of frames. Currently it only goes to 100 frames. To change that so it reaches the whole duration of the video, click on this time configuration. We have 30 frames per second, and we're going to make sure that we see all of them. Currently there's only 100. We have 30 frames, and there's 30 seconds of video, so 900 frames, and then we'll hit OK. So now the whole video can be seen here on this timeline. If we click to the end, we can see the project as it's nearing completion. So as you can see, this keeps a static camera angle from the export, but in 3D Studio Max, you can go ahead and add those camera angles and lighting and other rendering effects as you normally would in the program. And then you can export it from Studio Max as an AVI or a movie file, or you can export it as a series of images which can be combined to create a video. So now you know how to export an FBX from Synchro and import it into 3D Studio Max to add further rendering options.